Double bus, single breaker. Substations utilizing the double bus, single breaker configuration are supplied with two buses. Each circuit is equipped with a single breaker and is connected to both buses using isolators. A tiebreaker connects both main buses and is normally closed, allowing for more flexibility in operation. A fault on one bus requires isolation of the bus, while the circuits are fed from the opposite bus. The double bus single breaker scheme is more expensive and requires more installation space than the single bus configuration. It is common to find this scheme with an additional transfer bus and transmission substations. Double bus, double breaker. The double bus, double breaker configuration utilizes two buses and two breakers per circuit. Both buses are normally energized and any circuit can be removed for maintenance without an outage on the corresponding circuit. Failure of one of the two buses will not interrupt the circuit because all of the circuits can be fed from the remaining bus and isolating the failed bus. Load balancing between buses can be achieved by shifting circuits from one bus to the other. Substations with the double bus, double breaker arrangement require twice the equipment as the single bus scheme but are highly reliable. This scheme is typically found in high voltage transmission substations or generating stations.